Hello everyone. Welcome to Linux from Scratch, Episode 2. In this video, we are going to discuss some important concepts and commands, requires for LFS project. I strongly recommend you to install Ubuntu on your computer, to learn practically. Before getting into the video, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon, so that you won't miss any future videos. If you are new to this concepts, it may be confusing and difficult for understand. Don't worry about it, you will understand slowly as you keep practicing on it. Before we start build our own distribution of Linux, we should understand the existing Linux distributions. Let's learn from basics. Many people says Linux is an operating system. But, Linux in its nature is not an operating system. It is a kernel. Then, you might ask, are the people who saying Linux is an operating system are wrong? Probably not. Let's see why. What is operating system? An operating system, or OS, is software that communicates with the hardware and allows other programs to run. Example. Windows, Ubuntu, Mac, etc. Well, then what is kernel? The kernel is a computer program that is the core of a computer's operating system, with complete control over everything in the system. Example. Linux, Unix. In other words, kernel is a part of operating system. Operating system is built in top of the kernel. In general, the operating system that are built with the Linux kernel is also referred as Linux. Example. Ubuntu is also called Ubuntu Linux, where Ubuntu is operating system and Linux is kernel. Well, we have got an idea about, what is operating system and kernel. Let's see what is shell. Shell is the program which processes commands and returns output, it interacts between application and kernel. People also say terminal as a shell. Because it process the shell commands. All these components makes a Linux operating system. Operating system consists of applications, shell and kernel. Kernel directly communicates with hardware, shell communicates with kernel, applications communicate with shell, and users communicate with applications. I hope you understand the basic structure and working of Linux operating system. There are many distributions of Linux operating system. Some of the most used and popular distribution are, Debian, Fedora, Arch, Gentoo etc. Ubuntu is a derived from Debian. That is, almost every software written for Debian can be used in Ubuntu and vice versa. Now, let's discuss some basic commands that we use in Ubuntu. The commands we use in Ubuntu can be used in all Linux operating systems. Log in to your Ubuntu, and press Ctrl plus Alt plus T, to open terminal. This terminal in Linux is similar to Windows command prompt. But the commands are different. Here you can see Shri at root device is beginning of every new command line. This means Shri is username and root device is my device name. By default, terminal opens in your home directory. Let's see some basic file commands. Number 1. PWD. It simply prints your current directory. Note. Unlike Windows, in Linux the name of files and folders are case sensitive. This means, you may get problems when copying the files from Linux to Windows. Number 2. CD. It stands for change directory, it's same like in Windows. Slash stands for root directory. That is. If you simply type cd slash and hit enter, it will go to root directory. Number 3, ls. It is like dir command in Windows. It lists the files and directory in current directory. You can use ls-l, to print directories and files along with their ownerships and permissions. We will discuss about permissions in upcoming episodes. Number 4, mkdir. It stands for make directory. Example mkdir hello. This command will create a directory named hello, in working directory. Number 5. rmdir. It stands for remove directory. Example. rmdir hello. This command will delete the directory named hello, form working directory. Number 6. touch. This command is used to create files. As like mkdir creates folders, this is used to create files. Example. touch hello.txt. This command will create file named hello.txt. Number 7. rm. 
This command is used to delete files. As like rmdir deletes folders, this is used to delete files. Example. rm, hello.txt. This command will delete file named hello.txt. Number 8. cp. cp strands for copy. This command is used to copy files from source to destination. The above command will copy sample.jpg file from home directory to pictures directory. Number 9. MV. MV stands for move. This command is same as like copy. Instead of copying files and folders, it moves them. Number 10. Man. It stands for manual. Most of the command in Linux has manual entries, it has information about the command, and guides us to how to use them. To see manual of a command, just type man space and then name of the command. Example. Man touch. This prints the manual page of the command touch. You can use double minus help at suffix of any command to see short help message, that will be useful when you forgot the options of command. These are all very basic commands. There are many important commands too. Let's see them in upcoming episodes. If you are a beginner, I recommend you to practice commands daily. You cannot become master in Linux if you are weak in command line interface. If you installed Ubuntu for first time, you have to update it. Type sudo apt update and hit enter to update. sudo stands for super user do. It means the command will run as administrator. It requires your password to proceed. apt is package management tool in Debian based operating system. I hope you understand the difference between operating system, kernel and shell. And learn some basic commands. In next episode, we shall see about file system hierarchy standard in Linux. If you like this video, give your thumbs up below. If you have any doubt, please comment it below. Share this video with your friends, and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.